Hey guys, Thunderstead here, and we are getting to Medulce's. Now they snuck in an extra bit of Medulce support outside of the box. It's actually from the card trader. If you go and check their inventory, <laughs> it's a Medulce with a ridiculous name. Uh, Petting Sessor, I guess is how you say that. So, uh, super strong though. It's a very good reason it's limited to one. Uh, blah blah does all the normal Medulce stuff where it goes back to the deck if it's destroyed and then it has two effects. If you have no monsters in your graveyard with Medulce's usually don't, you can special summon this card from your hand already very good. If this card is special summoned, you can special summon one Medulce from your hand or deck and its level is reduced by one and you can only special summon Medulce monsters for the rest of the turn. Very strong monster even with that restriction. Because we got a bunch of Madolce boss monsters now. So I'm using one of each. Teacher is generally the most important that you'll be using the most. But Teacher is pretty much used to set up these other two. And uh, we still have a bunch of other boss monsters in our extra deck here. Two Phoenix, a Unicorn, a Boral Load. And Malevolent Sin because we are using Summoner Monk with a bunch of spells. So we have two Medulce spells, both the Field Spell and Ticket, which is searchable by Messengelato. Messengelato will usually be summoned by Hoot Cakes because he requires a beast. Then you get a search, throw it away with your Summoner Monk, bring out another level 4, do an Xyz, do a Link, do whatever you want. So uh, generally that's how you do the two different combos. You are either going with Summoner Monk or you're starting with uh, Magaline. Ma is that how you say that? Magaline? Ma yeah, that's how I'm going to say it. So she would search our Petting Sessor and then she would be able to special summon. You already have two out, then you would bring out four. Then you could bring out Teacher. Teacher can get you some monsters in the graveyard and return from the graveyards. So if you have to get your petting sessor back in, or your opponent has some monsters in their graveyard you want to get rid of, you can have her out. Usually people will go immediately go teacher into uh, a la mode here. I usually like to keep teacher, like I said, for the graveyard banish. You can go a la mode where if a uh, Madolce is returned from the graveyard to the deck. She gets to special summon from the deck, which is very strong. But I like Teacher's Banish from the graveyards. Works pretty well offensively too. But uh, Ala Mode is 2500, so a little more attack, but she's 2500 defense. So it's usually a more defensive monster as she does have the quick effect where you can detach and she's unaffected, or any Madolce monster is unaffected by monster effects. Then of course we have the almighty Queen Teramasu who can return cards up to the Medulces in your graveyard. So you have to have Medulces in your graveyard. You can't have no Medulces in your graveyard, detach and then grab what you detached. You have to have some to start there. So that's where Teacher comes in. Teacher sets up your graveyard when you need that graveyard set up for something like Hoot Cakes or a la mode or whatever you need your graveyard set up for and then you go from there so uh we have sick text lots of spell cards to go with summoner monk i'm using anti-glare shield it's a pretty cool skill it uh makes it so a light monster's attack can't hurt you it becomes zero once only though so uh I'll show you, I, I'll tack on a little to show you the difference there, what we see. But uh, yeah, cool little skill. I'll show you what it's for towards the end of the video. It's pretty much just there to uh, help you face galaxy eyes. But uh, I was expecting Medulce's to be a little crazier. Still pretty good though. Teacher into Ala Mode and a Teramasu and things like that. Usually a duel doesn't go that very smooth though. So uh, we'll... we'll check it out through the replays hope you guys enjoy and thanks for watching all right here we are versus a playmaker going second i'm on a two streak he's on a three streak let's see whose streak ends and who's keep going i got a black hole mangling a month so we have anything we want anything in our extra deck we can summon it right now except for borla facing go keys well 
would you look at that? Face and Gokis. Let's see who's better. We're gonna anti glare shield. I don't know that there's too many light Gokis, but why not use it now? We're going Magdalene into Petting Cesser. Such a weird name. Petting Cesser, I guess. It's, it's not Petting because there's not two T's. So it's Petting. Anyway, we're going into Teacher. We even got a Hoop Cakes out. Teacher is great because she gets monsters in the graveyard and she returns from any graveyard. So we get rid of his Gokis. It's a good effect. Gokis need to be in the graveyard so they can get rematched. Here, Who Cakes brings out Mesh and Gelato. This is all off just Magdalene, guys. One card combo off Magdalene, this whole field. Then we go Chateau. It's got a Mystical Space Typhoon for the Chateau. Unfortunately for our Goki boy, he's gonna get dunked on. Now, listen, guys, okay? I understand. I understand that we want a la mode, okay? A la mode can hop over teacher, but I want to keep the teacher effect so we can return from the graveyard. A la mode special summons from the deck, which is really good, but I didn't use a la mode in any replays because I like teacher's effect to banish from the graveyard, and it would be especially devastating against Gokis as they need. Oh, he has Octo to still to get hit with lethal. As they need monsters in the graveyard to be rematched, we can uh, ban. Oh, what is it? Here, return to the deck. We can return to the deck monsters on him during his turn, and then he wouldn't be able to rematch properly. We disrupt his combos with just Teacher. So don't be so quick into going all mode over your Teacher. Teacher is very good. So, uh, great, great stuff, guys. All right, here we are versus a My Valentine. We're going first. Got Magdalene. Magal Magdalene. Magdalene. We search petting petting Cesar. Such weird names for these Madolches. We got an evacuation device and a forbidden lance. I love the forbidden cards. So uh he's starting with an egotist off a of perfumer. Basic stuff, nothing too crazy. There's a slash heartbeat lady. Or Cole's coming. So that's two back row. We're going to evacuation unit, the Harpy Lady. He's gotta return our Magdalene for us. That's perfectly fine as she is the search. He gets Egotist back to his hand thanks to uh, Oracle though. So, Petting Sessor. He's going to chain to hit our Forbidden Lance. We're gonna Forbidden Lance that Oracle so she's low. There's Petting Sessor. We haven't used our normal summon. That was a special summon. Now we bring out Pudding Sis. She's a level 4 because we've reduced her level. So that means we're going to be able to make Tiramisu. Now he's going to Book of Munas. Now why didn't I forbid Lance? Because we're going to be okay. We go Magdalene. We go boom. I'm looking at Monk here. We're waiting for the Monk the next turn. We were, still a we were still able to break the field. He still has to deal with Tiramisu, but we will have a follow-up. So we could either go Hoot Cakes, we could go Summoner Monk. We could really go anything we want from here. So that's kind of why we uh, took it easy on him that last little bit. So as you can see, just another rebuilt Harpy Lady and Oracle combo. Can't even touch the Magdalene. So she's okay, so we're gonna be okay, guys. We're going with Hoot Cakes. Hoot Cakes is going to banish the Tiramisu. That's gonna bring out Messenger Gelato. That's gonna give us a search of Chateau. Can't play Chateau while this Harpy Lady's there, but we're gonna take care of her. We're going with two level fours into the great Tiramisu. She has monsters in the graveyard to activate her effect. We're gonna return those two to the deck, return those two monsters to the deck, and now we have lethal thanks to the Magdalene hitting that uh, oracle from the first turn. Great, great stuff, guys. All right, here we are facing a bandit Keith. Poor boy was trying to catch a rank up with no win streak though, so can't allow that. We have Magdalene. We're going first, so we're gonna start with her. She's gonna search. Petting Sister. 
And then we go into Chateau. Penning Fester hops on out. She's going to special summon accidentally a Who Cakes from our hand. We go to special summon Who Cakes from the deck. We special summon him from the hand. Not good. But here we go with Teacher. That's very good. Now, don't get me wrong. I understand, okay? I understand the combos to go into a la mode. But we like her effect especially versus these monsters because she can return from the graveyard so as soon as he gets spicy in the graveyard we're going to be able to return and get him here obviously he can negate effects and he does exactly that by tributing himself negates our poor teacher no big deal as we still have monsters in the graveyard which is kind of what we needed who takes can banish one of those monsters Void Feast is not important, he's just going to special summon a bunch of monsters. We're going to special summon Messenger Gelato, which will let us search Ticket. He's going to mill to his graveyard. Now he has the negate. He didn't have the negate before. We got Ticket. We're going to use Ticket. We're going to Tribute out Putting Princess. We're going to destroy his negate and then use the effect. He's got Seer to stop it though. Now he's got Needle Ceiling. Seer would have protected all his monsters if he just did that from the beginning. All our monsters are going to return to our hand. We probably didn't need putting back to our hand. But why not? Ticket's going to give us a search of another hoop cake. Now our boy has the top deck. He gets Baggy Sleeves though, so that's a really good top deck. Then he's got Vanishment again. Feast again. No way he's got enough in his deck to feast though. Here he's banishing three. There's Deviati. He's gonna get evacuated immediately. Back to the hand. Then banishes three again. Brings it out again. Absolutely crazy. Hits me for 2900. Look at that top deck. Mind control. It's my monster. He's gonna void feast. While he has a monster out, that's good. Now it's only two monsters instead of getting three. Or do you need a do you need a monster to void these? No, right? No, yeah. So now, boom, who cakes alongside his Infernoid. He's going to try to banish Messengelato. We're going to stop his banish by getting rid of who cakes. Now we get rid of the monster. Manchaline still comes from the who cake effect. We go into Nightmare Phoenix to get rid of his monster for good. He does not have enough in his graveyard to banish or bring that monster out. So he has to scoop from the top deck. Great, great stuff, guys. Alright, here we are going second against Little Yugi. He's using Galaxy Cyclone in his uh, map. Pretty cool sleeve. I'm not quite sure what it is, but it looks pretty awesome. He's Gaia. So he's got Galloping Gaia. Doing the whole thing, going Dragon Fire, the whole shebang. You guys, I'm sure, have seen Gaia. He goes Magical Knight into Curse of Dragon, into Gaia, the Magical Knight of Dragons. He's in defense position, set a back row. We top deck mind control, we're gonna use it. And we use his effect to destroy his field spell. That's good value. Then we normal summon Messenger Lotto. That's a Phoenix. We're gonna throw away a Forbidden Lance. Hit the back row. Done for. World Legacy Clash. No answer. He's down to two cards. No field spell. But he top decks a great magical knight. Super sick top deck. Able to go immediately back into a fusion card. Now this boy pierces, he can trigger a uh, spiral spear strike, he can push something to defense, but our boy gets a little greedy, he wants this Gaia to gain the attack, so he goes with that Gaia, could have done some, or well, you can't really pierce the defense of a Link monster obviously, but anyway we've been sitting on Dark Hole this whole time. Here comes Dark Hole, goodbye those big bad monsters, hoop cakes for lethal, but he does have fuel for his effect. But still lethal. Great, great stuff, guys. Here we are facing an Odeon. Don't really see him all too often anymore. We're going second. 
He's full lava golem over there too, so he's ready to go. We got hoop cakes, we got monk, chateau, and that kooky little trap. He's using pot of duality. He has magical planter, which revolves around continuous spells. He has fiendish chain, which is a continuous spell. So, uh, seeing a the theme here already. Setting three. We're going to normal summon Messengelato because we knew we were dealing with a ton of back row. Let Messengelato eat a floodgate. That's perfectly fine. We set our Chateau. He sets another back row. We play our Chateau. He's got a dark bribe. I kind of anticipated that. That's why I set it. Now we're going to dark bribe it. That lets us draw another Forbidden Lance. We're going to go Summoner Monk. He's going to try to Fiendish Chain us. We're going to Forbidden Lance. He's going to Dark Bribe the Forbidden Lance. I say okay. Summoner Monk can stay in attack position. That's just fine. We drew another spell though. So we're going to be able to use Forbidden Lance again. Summoner Monk is free. He can now throw away and special summon. We special summon Magellan. And boom boom. 4 plus 4. We're doing uh, I think this is a Link Summon action. It's a pretty... Trippy links. No, this is Xyz. Why does he get such a crazy Xyz summon? So we go with Malevolent Sin up to 2700. Message Lotto still stuck. Our boy sets a bottomless trap hole and tributes that with his Witch Raider to destroy our ice prison and kamikazes into our spider. Unfortunately for him, we have Who Cakes. Who Cakes has plenty of monsters in the graveyard to banish now. Bring out more monsters, our boy scoops for us, great great stuff guys. Alright, so this is an L, but it's to show you Anti-Glare Shield. It's a pretty good skill, it's meant for this, it's meant so you don't get KO'd by freaking galaxy eyes all the time. So uh, we start with a monk into a messengelado. We just leave them there and we use Anti-Glare Shield. So that would generally save us from one attack. It's just one attack, one time. Whoever he attacks with first with the light monsters will fast forward through a bunch of this just Galaxy Eyes nonsense. So if it was down to one monster, let's say he just kept a Armored Photon Dragon out, hit us for lethal, he wouldn't do any damage with one mighty swing there. 4,500 monster into Messenger Lotto, we took no damage. Sadly, that's all the skill does. If that was his only swing for lethal, we would have stopped it. He does have a second swing, that will hit us. So the skill only works once. Let's see if I can pull it up and read it again here. So, uh, till the end of your opponent's next turn, light monster attacks. If, uh, if your opponent's light monster attacks you, the battle damage you would take becomes zero once only so uh he pulled out two but generally it's out there to stop you from getting ko'd by galaxy eyes so it's a nice little skill when you don't particularly need a skill lots of people are using uh labyrinth builder for this which does let you run a little more puddings and do different things for you um but uh i, I wanted to try anti glare shield and honestly it was pretty cool it really it can't I did use it a few times. It came in handy versus Blue Eyes. Stopped a Fortune Lady every. All sorts of little stuff. Cool little skill to uh, pepper in there. So uh, great against Galaxy Eyes. Medolches. Medolches were very cool. They, they've got combos. They got the extra deck. They give you a reason to run a bunch of spells when you go with Monk. It's mostly Monk though. I think Monk's going to be that little package. If you're running a bunch of spells, just splash in a Monk. Very cool though, I'm, I'm, I'm content with Medulches. I thought they would be the best of the new box, and not quite the best of the new box, but they're still very solid. Thanks to this card trader card, honestly, that is what threw it over the edge, so make sure you buy it from the card trader. It's weird to have the card trader be relevant, but uh, here we go. So, hope you guys enjoyed, and thanks a lot.